the door tries to pay call. In this episode, we have the Doctor of Colour with a passion for numbers. It's Graham. Happy preheat your oven. If you know, you know. DIY craft queen. It's Rosie. Vegan police inspector who starred in a nightmare show. And question time. Two gal for office supplies, admin, or even fashion advice. Bam! He's the face of Illuminate, but just how many of his pies will get Illumin eight? Like eight, like eight the pies. It's Barry! Barry! That's so bad. Shh. Right, bake off, mince pies. It is the most basic recipe. Let's get cracking. Fingers crossed, should be okay. And I've got all the ingredients here. It's like I've been organised. We're going to be changing the ingredients to a vegan mince pie recipe. Ready to preheat with some tinsel. How do you use the oven? Have you made pastry before, Tom? I've never made pastry before. Have you made pastry before, Graham? Not for a very long time. Do you think you can help me? I can try to, but I think this I might be a disaster. <laughs> supposed to be softened. <laughs> softened. Well. It is now. I've even got butter for biscuits and pastry. So top to the bottom <laughs> and you push it through. Wow. Look, look what happens. Well, I really am learning a thing or two uh, here. What is it? It is cubes. Doesn't look like it's cubes. A little snowstorm. Oh. See, there's numbers on here. This is where Willow had a problem because she's scared of numbers. She's actually allergic to numbers. You're good at numbers as well, so I'm Yeah, I can do two plus two. Is it five or something? I'm only making half the recipe because nobody else in my house likes mince pies. A grating didn't really do much. More of a blob. And of course, there is the added special ingredient that not everybody will have put in that will make the key difference here. Do you know what that is? No. It's love, Tom. And the key to the crumb-like consistency is to just use your fingertips. It feels quite nice, but quite disgusting at the same time. Hey Google, play some Christmas music. Here's your Spotify playlist for Christmas. But I said I was going to use my fingertips. I said they were quite big crumbs, but good crumbs. <laughs> Actually, say hello to the camera, Tom. Hi I don't want to rub this up the wrong way. <laughs> when I asked the lovely lady at the Jack Cutter Morrison's, what can I do to make my pastry special yeah. and different? She said, put some sugar in it. Oh, what? And now I found it's the recipe. Everybody else is going to do it. That looks really strange now, but it's fine. Beaten egg. I don't really want to get another bowl dirty. I'm just going to shake it. Does that look? I'm actually going to use the egg yolk to bind it and then I'm going to use the egg white to glaze it. It didn't really beat it up, but it's an egg. How good are you at egg breaking? I, last time I tried, I definitely got shell in the food and the egg didn't go in at all, so. We want young people to achieve their full potential and that doesn't mean pulling back from egg breaking opportunities. Even if you haven't in the past, <laughs> been able to break an egg successfully, that doesn't mean that you can't break an egg successfully in the future. That sounds like an excellent idea. Oh, oh look at that one hand in only a little bit of shell. I told you I believed in you. And then do I just mix it by hand? Doesn't say. Do you know what? My hand's already dirty. I think that's enough mixing. I don't know because I've never done that. <laughs> I slightly regret this. And bind it all into something vaguely resembling pastry. Fold it. Don't really know how you fold a lump of goo, but we'll go for it. I'll just fold it in my hands. What use that face for? <laughs> right. I actually don't think that looks too bad. I think the trick with pastry is not to able to work it. That's fine. Ready? Do a ball of pastry. Oh. Oh. So that means <laughs> You're supposed to, according to the recipe, wrap it in cling film. I don't use cling film. It's bad for the environment, so I have a wow. piece of wrap. Like another Christmas present. Aww. So what I've got instead, one of these silicon Ziploc bags. You can wash them and use them again. And I'll be back in about an hour. That was garlic, by the way. Shouldn't have done that. Got garlicky fingers now. It's chilled enough. I've got bored waiting, so I've got the pastry out of the fridge. It looks like ready to be mince pies. You need to do it with love. Yeah. Ah. Smattering of flour. That's a technical term, right? A smattering. I've uh, borrowed a pint glass from the pub down the road. 
And I'm going to use that to cut my bottoms out. Pardon the expression. I haven't buttered that one, so I'm not going to put more. Oh, that's a rubbish one. I've always wanted to have a Snow White moment where she makes the pies and cuts the edges off. But I'm gonna give that a go. It's apparently gonna go all in the other pies. Should have seen that one coming. There's nothing worse than getting a mince pie and it being all pastry and no filling. So I'm going for deep filled mince pie. I seem to have the biggest jar of mince meat in the world, but my added ingredient make it so much better. I say cherry, I don't know how you say that. Oh, I've got buttery hands, I can't take a bit off. We've got maple and pecan. So we are just gonna add a little drop. The recipe says mince meat. So here is mince meat. I'm mean, not entirely stupid. What does it say there? It says, Morrison's. Mince meat. Yeah, okay. I mean, is that meat? That's not meat. I think you're onto something it's here. Inedible, gloopy gum. Yeah. So here we go. Red onion. Caramelise the red onion. Very nice. Yeah. With the mint. It's going to be lovely, isn't it? It's been beautiful. Please notice, dear viewer, that we have a separate meat preparation. These are really sticky. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. A handful is my technical term. I don't know if they're even, but they're going in. It's just a jar of mince meat, but it is brandy infused. I don't actually drink, so if I eat these six mince pies and I end up drunk, I'm going to blame Willow and Isaac. These are not very well shaped cases. <laughs> Words of encouragement. Plastic. <laughs> so this is twice the amount of mince meat compared to half the amount of pastry. Here we go with the lovely strong beefy. Oh. But what could be better than a strong beefy mince? I know, extra strong mince. Wow. Here Just go. We could put something nice and edible in as well. Oof, is that lemon curd? It's not just Morrison's lemon curd. It's Morrison's the best Sicilian. Wow, from all the way from Italy. This is nectar of the gods, this is. Make a link and put it on the top. I don't know how anyone would have a chance to do little star shapes or anything like that. Wow, that's adorable. What else have I got? Little gingerbread man. I'm gonna call him Terence. <laughs> I'm not Willow. <laughs> White leftover, pink round the edges. Presumably that helps it stick. Might make it into an omelette. That might be my special ingredient. Would be better than salt and vinegar crisps. They look great, don't they? Got the lovely tops on, raising with a bit of eggs. Apparently it's good. The proof is in the baking, and that's the oven's job. Hey Google, how long do I need to cook mince pies for? 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. What did we do before we had the internet, hey? Long before the internet, people had to use a tool called a pen and another piece of equipment called paper to actually write messages to one another. It's brilliant. Mince pies. <laughs> oh look, have you seen the garlic? <laughs> Confession to make, I had loads of pastry left, and so I made some extra ones. There they are. Up here. Oh. Easily done. Maybe we've over oh, them. I mean, I, I'm still pretty proud of this. I had a bit of trouble getting them out of the tin. This fella didn't survive. Mm. Stuff of dream, that is. Pretty amazing. I don't think any amount of dusting with icing sugar is gonna make this look good. I think they're slightly overcooked. Oh, look at that one. No soggy bottoms though. Came out so nicely. Maybe we should think about decoration. I have thought of an appropriate decoration with love. And at Christmas, we have to think of those that are less fortunate than ourselves. People with irresponsible parents. Who yeah. Have a birthday very near to Christmas. How rude. When's your birthday, no, no comment. We're going to make a birthday mince pie. Say happy birthday to all those poor people who have a birthday near Christmas. Now, all mince pies look like that when they come out of the oven, I'm sure. Black. Just for the added effect of glistening snow. Going on the pies. Ice and sugar hides everything, right? I've done my best at trying to present them. Not particularly great. Mainly covered up the burnt bits with icing sugar. In a real bake-off, we might have exceeded the time limits here. But, you know, we have done it with love. Yeah. And, and as you know, you can't hurry love. Can't hurry love. Yeah, no, you just have to wait. I mean, love don't come easy. It's just a game of give and take. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you on behalf of everyone. Irresponsible parents who gave them a birthday for only as Christmas. Yeah, still no comment. I'll try the one without a lid on it because it's.
Oh, I was going to say, at least likely to fall apart. It spilled out a lot. Oh no, that's breaking. So, Tom, what does your strong, beefy mince pie right, taste here we like? Go. Mm, looks terrible, tastes great. Well, you know. That's a nice texture. Red actually really nice. It tastes pretty good. I would probably be lucky to get somewhere in the middle on the Bake Off, probably near the bottom. 12 beautifully decorated <laughs> vegan mince pies as produced by Paul Cruz. Thanks for watching guys. Comment down below and vote who you thought won this episode as well as who you thought did best overall. <laughs> Stop. Make sure you guys are following our Instagram so you can see when we're back from our Christmas holidays. There's still going to be some content coming out so make sure you tuned in. Merry Christmas! Have a, really Have a great Christmas! Christmas. Happy New Year! Um, we'll see you on the other side. Woo. Bye!